Hello students welcome to today's english class students do you love food yes then you must have some favorite food isn't it suppose one day you got your favorite food and you started to eat it more and more then can you say me what will happen yes you will face stomach disorder isn't it why why the stomach disorder happen yes it can be due to your over eating or we can say due to your greediness towards food so students today we are going to read a lesson on this word greediness before starting the chapter now let's listen to a short story the name of the story is the greedy dog the name of the story is greedy dog now look at this picture i am telling you the story once there was a dog one day the dog found a piece of bone in the forest the dog picked up the bone and started to run towards its home on the way the dog crossed a bridge near to that bridge there was a stream full of water the dog looked into the water and saw its own image in the water now see the picture here is the dog and here is the bridge and this is the stream okay the dog looked into the water and saw his own image in the water so the dog thought there is another dog with a piece of bone in his mouth the dog thought to eat that piece of bone too so he started barking the dog started barking as soon as the dog opened its mouth the bone fell into the water okay just see the image the bone fell into the water so the dog lost its own bone too so why this happened due to its greediness so the moral of the story we can say we should not be too greedy now let's start our lesson the name of the lesson is the greedy fat old man the part 1 this is in your english book that is the second chapter of your english book before starting the lesson Let's have a look upon this picture. What do you see in this picture? I am going to ask you some questions based on this picture. So my first question is who are there in the picture? This is the picture, isn't it? Now answer me. Who are there in the picture? Yes, you can answer to me. Yes. There is a fat The old man is very fat, isn't it? There is a fat old man, and also there is a thin little boy in the picture. Now we can say there is a fat old man and a thin little boy. The boy is thin comparing to this old man. The boy is very thin, isn't it? So there is a thin little boy and a fat old man in this picture. Now my second question is why is the old man so fat we have marked this man he is very fat isn't it can you say why this old man is very fat yes we can guess isn't it we can guess why he is so fat it may be due to his over eating or he may be eating more and more or he may not be doing exercises isn't it these two may be the reasons why the old man is so fat isn't it so my third question is what is he talking to the thin boy see the picture the old man and the thin boy they are talking to each other isn't it they are talking to each other can you guess what they are talking no we cannot say exactly what they are talking isn't it can you say no we cannot say we just guess 
what they are talking but we can know the answer how for that we have to refer the chapter which chapter the greedy fat old man the part 1 okay now let's start the chapter i think you must have got the answers isn't it the first one second one and third one you must have got the answers so we move towards the next slide that is now let's start the lesson today we are going to cover the first part of this lesson the name of the lesson is a greedy fat old man now students you just listen to me carefully i am going to read this text once there lived a greedy fat old man one day he got up at 6 am and brushed his teeth at 6:30 am he took tea at 7 am and breakfast at 8:30 am do you know how much tea he took and what did he take in his breakfast he took two mugs of tea and two liters of milk then he took three tins of biscuits and five big pieces of cakes after breakfast he looked really very very fat then he went out for a walk he walked walked and walked till he met a little thin boy he had a long conversation with the boy now students you have noticed some difficult words now let's know the meaning of those difficult words see the first one is greedy can you spell it G R E E D Y greedy now see this picture this is the picture of a greedy dog here the dog lost its bone due to its greediness isn't it so here we can say the meaning of greedy is having an excessive desire for something if we relate this picture if we relate this picture we can find that this dog showed its greediness for another piece of bone isn't it so we can say the meaning of greedy is having an excessive desire for something okay so we can relate this picture to this word isn't it the second one is got up okay second one is got up now see this picture there is a small boy isn't it there is also a sun that is shining it means what this is the morning time and the boy got up from the bed isn't it so we can say the meaning of got a, got up is we can say the meaning of got up is to arise from bed now we can link up this word to this picture yes the third one is breakfast now students you must be brushing your teeth during morning time isn't it after that you must be feeling hungry so during morning time what do you take you must be taking so many foods like just see this picture these are fruits these are snacks these are some there are so many sandwiches there are so many pictures of food that we take during morning time it means when we feel hungry during morning time we can take juice milk bread sandwiches etc and etc so the meal eaten in the morning is called breakfast now the fourth one is conversation the spelling is c o n b e r s a t i o n we can spell it as conversation now just see this is a picture here two people are talking to each other when two or more people are talking to each other we can say 
they are conversing to them here conversation we can relate this word to this picture now i am asking you to which picture we have to link of breakfast yes we can relate this word to this picture i am repeating greedy means having an excessive desire for something and this picture says about the meaning of greedy second one is got up its meaning is to arise from bed and we can link up this word with this picture third one is breakfast or meal eaten in the morning we can link up this word with this picture see i have linked it now the fourth one is conversation conversation means a talk especially an informal one between two or more people now students listen to me carefully i am going to explain this para line by line once there lived a greedy fat old man once there lived an old man who was very fat and greedy all of you know the meaning of greedy isn't it greedy means having an excessive desire for something here the old man showed his greediness for food okay one day he got up at 6 am and brushed his teeth at 6:30 am do you know for whom he is written here can you say yes here he is written for this old man who is very fat and greedy so the old man got up woke up at what time at 6 am in the morning also he brushed his teeth at what time the old man brushed his teeth at 6:30 am in morning after that he took tea at 7 am here also he is written for the old man the old man got up then brushed his teeth after that what did he do he took his tea at 7 am and breakfast at 8:30 am do you know the meaning of breakfast it is a meal that we take during morning time so the old man also took his breakfast at 8:30 am 8:30 am means during morning time okay do you know how much tea he took do you know what amount of tea this old man took let's read and what did he take in his breakfast in his breakfast the old man what did he took he took two mugs of tea see this old man took two mugs of tea do you know mug the size is like this okay one glass of tea but this old man took two mugs of tea okay and two liters of milk do you love to drink milk yes then you must have idea that generally we take one glass of milk but this old man take two liters of milk then he took three tins of biscuits tin means it's a container a big container the old man took tins of biscuits now generally we take one maximum one packet of biscuit but this old man took three tins of biscuits and five big pieces of cakes such a huge amount okay isn't it the old man took five big pieces of cake after breakfast he looked really very very fat when someone will take this is a huge amount of food when someone will take this huge amount of food what will happen he will feel uneasy so 
Sometimes we also feel lazy. To decrease that uh, uneasiness, what we are doing? We love to work during that time. So this old man also love to work. Why? Because he ate such huge amount of food. Isn't it? So the old man also started to work. He worked, worked and worked. He worked, worked and worked. Until he met a little thin boy. On his way, he met a boy who was little and thin. He had a long conversation with the boy. On After meeting that boy, the old man started to talk with that boy. Now students, let's summarize the paragraph. Once there was an old man who was very fat. One day, he got up at 6 a.m. and brushed his teeth at 6.30 a.m. Then he took tea at 7 a.m. and breakfast at 8.30 a.m. He took 2 mugs of tea, 2 liters of milk, 3 tins of biscuits and 5 big pieces of cakes. Then he went out for a walk. On the way, he met a little thin boy and they started to talk to each other. Now students, let's discuss some question answers from this paragraph that we have learned. Write the answer in a word or a phrase. So first question is, what is the paragraph about? Yes, this paragraph is about a greedy, fat, old man. What? A greedy, fat, old man. Now look at the second question. It is very easy and I know you can answer it. So the second question is, how much tin of biscuits did the old man take? Yes, you are right. Three tins of biscuits. So the answer is, the old man took three tins of biscuits. How much? The old man took three tins of biscuits. Third question is, how much milk did the old man take? It also is a very que easy question, isn't it? And I know you can answer it. So the third question is, how much milk did the old man take? Yes, the old man took two liters of milk, isn't it? The old man took two liters of milk. Now, the fourth question is, when did the old man get up? Do you know? Yes, the old man got up at 6 a.m. Am I right? Yes, the old man got up at 6 a.m. So, the answer is 6 a.m. Now, coming to the fifth question, when did the old man brush his teeth? Can you answer it? When did the old man brush his teeth? Yes, the old man brushed his teeth at 6.30 a.m. So the answer is 6.30 a.m. Now students, let's do some more exercises. Fill in the blanks with correct option from the bracket. The first question is, the old man had a long dash with the boy. Here, we have been given four options and you have to choose the right option to fill up that gap. The options are talk, argument, mate, conversation. Which one is correct? Conversation. Yes, this is the correct one. The old man had a long conversation.
with the boy the second one is the old man met a dash thin boy little fat ugly tall little yes this is the correct answer the old man met a little thin boy the third one is the old man took two dashes of tea the options are mugs cups glasses buckets which one is correct mugs yes the old man took two mugs of tea so here we can write mugs okay now the fourth question is the greedy fat old man went out for a dash the options are walked walk met thin which one is correct the greedy fat old man went out for a dash walk yes this is the right answer so here we can write walk now the fifth question is the old man got up at dash options are 6 am 7 am 8 am 6 pm which one do you think correct 6 am yes 6 am is the correct answer so we can read the old man got up at 6 am so students what we have learned from today's class we have learned the daily activity of the old man also the amount of food he takes so this much is for today's class thank you children bye bye